perfect food, the bread of life. Jesus Christ says, I am the bread of life. The bread of life. He compared himself to eating. Amen. Eating. Amen. He talked about the people eating. He said, your fathers ate manna in the wilderness and are dead. But I am the bread of life. The bread that came down from heaven. That a man will eat and not die. Jesus Christ is the bread of life. The bread that you will eat that will last you till eternity after death. That is what Jesus Christ is. And that is what we are talking about. The bread of life. When Jesus Christ told the people that except a man eat of the bread of life, they will die. They were angry and they murmured. But let's look at it. Everybody is out today because you are looking for a job, you're going for school. The aim of it is to be able to um, have the, the necessities of life, the basic necessities of life. That is why we are all out. That is why we are going to school. That is why we are out today and some people are on lunch break because you need to eat to sustain your body. Amen. You need to eat food to sustain your body. What about your soul? When they were pointing fingers at him to say you are the bread of life, how can you say that? And they were murmuring against him. Jesus Christ said, look at it. You're talking about what I'm saying. Your forefathers that you have so much confidence in. They ate bread 3,000 years ago and they died. But the bread I'm talking about is the bread that a man will eat thereof and not die. Amen. The bread that will make you to live forever. That is what we are talking about. While you are at lunch today, think about the bread that you will eat, that you will not, that will sustain you even after death. That is the bread we are presenting to you this afternoon. Jesus Christ. He said, I am the bread of life. John 6. John chapter 6, verse, starting from verse 53. If Jesus said unto them, Verily, verily, I say unto you, except you eat the flesh of the Son of Man and drink his blood, you have no life in you. Whoever eats my flesh and drinks my blood has eternal life, and I will raise him on the last day. What we are doing here is beyond now. It's beyond time. Amen. It's an everlasting talk. This will actually make you or break you. Whoever eats my flesh and drinks my blood has eternal life and I will raise him at the last day. For my flesh is meat indeed and my blood is drink indeed. I am the bread of life. We are presenting to you Jesus, the bread of life. The, the kind of bread that heals sickness. Amen. The one that raises the dead. Amen. The one that answers all manner of questions. The bread of life. the bread of life. Jesus is the bread of life. You need to partake of the bread to live forever. To have an everlasting life, we need to partake of the bread of life. He that eateth my flesh and drinketh my blood dwell in me and I in him. As the living Father has saved me and I live by the Father, so he that eats me, even he, shall live by me. This is the bread, that bread which came down from heaven. Not as your fathers eat, uh, eat the bread and are dead. We are talking about the bread forever. Jesus is the bread of life. We are presenting to you and we were distributing to you this afternoon the bread that will help you 
the bread that will heal you, Amen. the bread that will um, sustain you, the one that will help you forever. Are you afraid? Take of, partake of the bread of life. Are you confused? Partake. And the partaking of the bread of life, start by accepting him first in your heart. Amen. Accept Jesus. Accept Jesus. Are you worried? You need the bread of life. Do you have issues that you cannot explain to anybody? The bread is available for you. Amen. Jesus. He is the beginning and the end. He is the creator of the earth. He is the one that died for the world. Jesus didn't die for some people or die for some nations or come for some other people. He came for the whole world. This bread I'm talking about is the one that stretches for everyone. Everyone. He is the answer to that issue you are having. That confusion that you are having. That disease that is troubling you. Somebody, can you imagine somebody without sperm at all? Without sperm. Not that there's no sperm count. Without sperm. This bread of life will heal it. Amen. Amen. The bread of life that keeps you pregnant till the end. Amen. The bread of life that heals from all manner of issues, all manner of diseases. The bread we are talking about Jesus. He is your creator. If um, Ford can have spare parts, Jesus has a lot of spare parts that would help you. Invite him today and start partaking of the bread. That is all it takes. Inviting Jesus into your heart. Why don't you try him? Why don't you try him? There are some issues that has that, that has ha hanged around your life for a long time, and you don't know what to do anymore. The doctors can't help. The bread of life will do it. Amen. Jesus, the bread of life. Audacious to Jesus stood and said, I am the bread. I am that bread that came down from heaven. I am the bread of life. Amen. This afternoon, while you are going about your business, think about it. How is your life? Is this the best you can be? Is there more to life than what you are right now? Review. Review your life because you will give an account of it one day. Review your life. We are presenting to you the bread of life. Jesus. Jesus. The one that died on the cross because he loves you so much. You see, they said a man eats the bread. He has no life in him. No life. It's a hard saying. And it might be confusing you right now. But we are not asking you to drink anybody's blood or eat anybody's flesh. No. There's no other sacrifice any man else can, can, pre can present that is higher than the sacrifice of the cross. There's none. Jesus loves you. Loves you. Be aware that you are loved. It does not matter the environment, what they are saying. You are loved. He took time to create you. He is mindful of your tears. That people can sleep at night. Only because they are troubled. Others are hearing voices. Jesus is the answer. Amen. Try it. Amen. Just try it. Taste and see. Taste it. If it didn't work, that's okay. 
Que é isso? Que é isso? Não! You need to test the Lord. Try Jesus. Try Jesus. Try Jesus. He himself said, he said, test and see. Test. Try. If it didn't work, give me one, give me one day. Give me 13 seconds. If it didn't work. That is it. All you need to do is to say Jesus. If this thing that these people are saying is true, come into my life. Jesus, come into my heart. Be my Lord. Be my Savior. Be my Savior. Help me. Help me to sleep. Help me to hear you. Jesus, come into my life. I have heard that you are the bread of life. Give me life. Energize me. Give me strength. The fogginess in my mind, remove it. The sleeplessness, God, let it go. That is all we are introducing to you. Oh, you have to take authority in the name of Jesus. You know, Jesus loves you. Jesus loves you. Hear me, please, everybody. Jesus loves you. Yes, you. Jesus loves you. He loves you. He cares about you. You might, it might seem to you that you have been forsaken, you have been forgotten. Nobody cares. No, Jesus cares for you. He cares. His arms are outstretched. He's looking for you. Even now, he's looking for you. He will save you. He will heal you. He will mend you. Those questions that you have been asking, you will answer the questions. And those forces that have been standing against you, he will remove them, even by his presence. God loves you. God loves you. And I plead the blood of Jesus over you right now in the name of Jesus. Over the arena we plead the blood. In the name of Jesus. Let this year be good for you in the name of Jesus. But taste the Lord. And the year will be fantastic. Taste the Lord. Try Him. Give Him a go. God bless you. In Jesus. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Jesus is Lord. Hallelujah.